Hello all, welcome to channel Tech Tutorials Learn by Doing. In this channel, we post tutorial videos on tools and technologies that are being used in IT industry. This tutorial series covers tutorial on Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. So, let's get started for the day. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to download and use external libraries in AWS Lambda. But before using that in AWS, let us import those libraries in our local and test our code. In this demo, I have made use of MailerPy library, which helps us to send mail to our desired user with just single line of code. For that, I have installed module called Mailer. And from Mailer, I have used this credential. If you have Gmail account, then you can test in your end as well. We have to give Gmail SMTP host as this one and put as this one your gmail username and your gmail password and this is the mail content that are going to be delivered then after that we can simply call mailer dot send mail to address if you have multiple address then we can send by separating with comma and the subject of the mail and the body of the mail this is as above and cc to whom we are sending the mail and BCC to whom we are sending the mail. But before sending the mail, we have to enable to allow less security app. For that, we have to go to Google account from which we are going to send the mail. I am going to send mail from this account, test Ravindra Sapkota. So this is same one, test Ravindra Sapkota. And here on manager Google account, go to security. And down here you will see less secure app access and click on it and disable it. We have to enable it and we have to give access to less secure app. We can see that there is currently no mails from this account. So let me run this code saying sending the mail. And mail is sent. Now let us check in our mailbox. We can see that the mail is right. Mail from Paisa. We can validate that subject here. Subject is mail from Paisa. And mail has been sent to take tutor at the gmail.com. Take tutor at the gmail.com. CC is this one, CC is that one, and BCC is itself and we can check in other accounts also this is for tech tutorial we can see that tech tutorial the mail has been arrived now let us test same code in aws lambda for this i'll go to lambda or i'll or i can go to services and type lambda here if it is not visible in home page and click on create function Function name is MailerPy demo. Choose runtime as Python. Let us choose 3.7 version. We can use create a new role with basic lambda permission, or we can use create an existing use an existing role. We can simply click on create a new role while doing in your environment, but I'll choose here use an existing role and click on create function we can see that function has been created now let us modify the code i'll remove all the content here and paste the content that you had used to send mail the content the content and paste here giving indentation here so let me again make this setting here and paste whole content it has to be indented by one tab 
this one is not required so this will be our code to send the mail no matter what we event we get no matter what context is there we'll simply call this function to send the mail and we'll modify the subject mail from lambda it all the setting be as default we'll copy this and paste here now let us deploy our code it said that it has successfully updated our function now let us test it click on test and you can give an event because no matter what event we send it simply send the mail this event was successfully set now let us run now we can see the error that it is unable to import module name mirrorpy because it is external library and you have to install that library so for installing that library we have to create a zip file containing those libraries from our local and we have to upload that zip file in lambda layer so that we can use in lambda generally the libraries file they are dependent on os so it's better to make use of linux system while downloading those libraries and making a zip file contain but for this module it is independent of any os since i have created this and i know this so i download it in windows create a zip file and upload and again test our this lambda function so that the mail will be sent from here for that i'll go to pycharm on pycharm i'll click on file and new project let me give the project name as aws lambda layer aws lambda layer and new environment using virtual environment and this interpreter is python 3.8 we have downloaded python 3.7 then it doesn't matter but you have to create new environment using virtual environment now let us create that in new window environment is being created let us wait for some time now we will simply install the package that we had used earlier to send mail it is mailerpy so we will go to python packages python con terminal and enter pip install mailerpy mailerpy we can see that it has been successfully installed we can see those libraries inside virtual environment leave and here mailerpy and mailerpy this info now we'll zip these two file contents make a zip file and upload to aws so that it can be used in our lambda for that i'll go to the location where i had created this pack project inside d drive aws lambda layer inside vn inside library side packages there were two packages now let me create a new folder name as python and paste this content inside this python mailerpy and mailerpy this info now let me create a zip file send to add to archive zip file python zip the zip file has been created now we will make use of this zip file in order to create our lambda layer so that we can send mail through aws lambda now let us go to aws console again and from up here i'll click on lambda and on layers i'll click on create layer layer name is mailerpy you can give any name description library 
R A R Y two library to send mail. Upload a zip file and we'll upload the zip file we had created. This is the zip file that we had created. So upload the zip file. Choose runtime as Python three point seven and click on create. We can see that our layer has been created. Now you have to use this layer in the lambda function that we had created earlier so that we can use this lambda code to send the mail. So I'll go to lambda again, click on function, function name, and on layers here, I'll click on it. I'll click on add layer, AWS layers, custom layer, and we'll choose MailerPy and add. We can see that the layer has been updated and we can see the layer is here. Now let us test it again. We should not deploy it again. It's saying that there is some SMTP authentication, but we can see that the library has been imported successfully. It is the security error since it has been not enabled by the Google. We are not able to test the actual code, but we can see that our libraries has been implemented and it has been imported in Lambda function. So this was for is today guys. If you like my video, give like button and subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss our future tutorials. Thank you.